Shalom, shalom, mishpocha. Welcome to another edition of Ray Bash's Ramblings. I'm your host, Rabbi Yehuda ben Shomer, and today I'm going to be talking about black Hebrewism. Now, before I get into reading the blog I wrote uh, regarding black Hebrewism, let me preface it with, with this. I believe that Adam and Eve and Noah and his wife were black. Um, scientifically speaking, um, I don't see how it could be any other way. For there to be such variation of color in the human race, uh, you have to have a lot of melanin, skin tone, skin color, before you can have a lack of it. You can't have it the other way around. You can't have hardly any melanin or skin color and all of a sudden have more. It just doesn't work that way. So I believe that Adam and Eve and I believe that Noah and his wife were black and according to Jewish tradition and uh, of the rabbis and sages of blessed memory, uh, that either Noah and his wife had triplets or the three sons they had, they had at separate times. But nonetheless, uh, whether they were triplets or whether they were birthed at different times, uh, they are said to have had uh, various shades of melanin. You have Ham, uh, which is the father of all the, the uh, black uh, peoples of the world and, and their ethnicities. Um, even the old woodcut pictures in Bible show Pharaoh as a black man. Uh, Ham was the father of the Canaanites and they were known as, as a very dark people. Um, I do not believe that, Cain, that, uh, that uh, Ham or his son was cursed with dark skin color because of some sort of sin or some sort of curse that Noah put upon them. That's ridiculous because Noah himself was black. The color of their skin had nothing to do with, with the curse that's mentioned in Scripture. Um, you have Shem, which is the father of all the Semitic and Arabic peoples, which uh, he was of he was dark skinned as well, but not as dark as his brother Ham. Then you have Yafet or Japheth, which uh, is believed to be the father of all the Caucasian and Asian peoples of the world, and uh, he had the lightest amount of skin color. And that is how, after the flood, we have all the various different uh, um, ethnicities and skin colors and skin tones in the world today.